What's going on guys? This is your host Real Sykes and welcome to today's Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. So in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about the new details on last gen BO3, no theater mode, and more. But that's it before we go any further in today's video. If you wouldn't mind showing me some love, let's shoot for one like. I know we could do it, it really means the world to me. But that's it without further ado, let's dive into today's video. So let's go ahead and kick it off right. Before we go any further, I want to go ahead and say the gameplay is provided by a friend of mine, All Silenced. If you guys want to go subscribe to him, a link to his channel will be down below via the description. Go subscribe to him, he's very close to 200k subscribers, and he was nice enough to shoot me over some gameplay. But regardless, let's get back on topic. So Black Ops 3 on PS3 and Xbox 360 will run 30 and 60 FPS in multiplayer, and will run at 30 FPS in the Shadow of Evil zombie mode. Now, as someone who has never really experienced 60 FPS until Xbox One, I can safely say that 30 FPS is fine with me. Uh, as a YouTube content creator, 60 FPS is always important, but at the end of the day, 30 to 60 FPS, you might notice that it, the game being a bit more smooth, but overall, I'm not going to complain that much. You can't really expect a console that's over 10 years old to, you know, compete with today's consoles or, or even PCs. In addition, features like the theater mode, weapon paint shop, and even the esports section will not be available for PS3 and Xbox 360. The statement says, for example, features built to leverage the next generation hardware like the new weapon paint shop and new suit of eSport tools including podcasting and theater will only be available on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for PS4, Xbox One, PC. Next up is storage requirements for Black Ops 3 on PS3 and Xbox 360 have also been announced. For PS3, it's 16 gig of space needed to download BO3 update once installation is complete and the game will require 8 gigs of storage. Secondly, the Xbox 360 is 8 gigs and then the last bit of news is the Season Pass will only be available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Availability for individual DLC packs for PS3 and Xbox 360 platforms may vary. More information will be announced on a later date. And then if you guys are interested, Black Ops 3 and PS3 and Xbox 360 is developed by Phoenix and Mercenary Technology and will be available for a suggested retail price of $49.99. PS3 and Xbox 360 versions will also include a download code for COD BO1. So, I mean, that's okay. I mean, honestly, guys, I'm not going to complain that often. I mean, I really can't play Black Ops 3 at the moment, but regardless, I knew this was coming, you know, whether it was this Call of Duty or next Call of Duty. It's just a matter of everyone trying to save up every little dollar and purchasing an Xbox One. I mean, honestly, guys, you can't expect, you know, the game to continuously evolve and having to still be ported over to last gen. Honestly, I really don't even think Call of Duty will be made for last gen and the next rotation of the game coming out next year. Nonetheless, guys, leave your thoughts down below via the comments. Are you really disappointed by the Xbox 360 port? Are you even grateful that they're able to even make it there? I can't even make a stick figure, let alone code and port and, and all that stuff. So I, I'm gracious that they even tried to make it for last gen. But do you guys think they could have made it better? Maybe the different colors? Maybe, you know, better shadows? I mean, just leave your thoughts down below via the comments. What are your cons so far of Black Ops 3? I'm very interested to see what the Sykes Army has to say. Nonetheless, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today's video. As always, this has been your host, Rule Sykes. And until next time, take care.